Today we are going to be talking to a contemporary artist, Beth Lippman, who is finishing an installation of three major works sculpted in glass. This is a part of an ongoing commitment that the museum has to contemporary work in glass that began this year with the donation of a significant collection of works from Philip and Nancy Kotler. Sideboard with Blue China is uh, the culmination of a, of a many year experience that I've had kind of investigating sideboards, um, starting with the Death in the Dining Room uh, book by Kenneth Ames. And one of the things that really fascinated me about sideboards was that they are essentially a, a piece of furniture that is considered a vanity piece. So it's really about what happens surrounding the sideboard. The fact that traditionally the man would come into the dining room and carve the turkey or carve the beef on the sideboard. Um, so ceremoniously you know, slaying, <laughs> slaying the game and, and basically providing for the family. So um, it, it was really a natural evolution from my understanding of still life and, and uh, the greater ramifications of thinking about material culture and what objects say about us and about who we are within community as well. Sideboards traditionally that you would find perhaps in your grandparents' house um, would be depicting aspects of game, you know, the, the kill. So we have game, birds, rabbits, sometimes fish. Really the bounty of the natural world and it, it was really highly wrought, very ornate wooden carved typically would be what you would find. And so the thing that I thought was really interesting in the context of thinking about these pieces of furniture as, as reflections of ourselves was what happens if we actually bring aspects of our body into the sideboard as well. So the piece itself almost becomes body. So it's things that we consume and also this idea of possibly being consumed ourselves in, in, in a greater context. Well, I think what the three pieces really do have in common is that they are, they are surrogates for ourselves. So in particular, the crib is, is representing the beginning of our lives, um, our infancy, and then we literally, as we walk past that crib, are approaching the cradle, which is used for rocking the moribund. So, it's, you know, the viewer is sometimes, I suppose unwittingly, <laughs> um, completing that, that life cycle or that chain of, and you have to navigate around that cradle to come to the sideboard and start to think about this shrine to the human condition to a certain extent. So it's um, just trying to come to terms with, um, with mortality and also uh, ways that we compensate while we're here by amassing things, accumulating things, and, and what kind of comfort that brings us and, and perhaps doesn't bring us as well. Beth Lippmann's Precarious Possessions works beautifully in our Astor Galleries. It opens April 28th and is on view until September 7th.